What's up, YouTube? This is Al from Panda E6, Livermore, California. Uh, currently on a hunt for the best tanks and devices out on the market or in the design phase and about to be released. I've uh, been out here for about a month uh, in China, factory hopping, if that's a, a popular thing to do or not, I'm not sure, but uh, I found this tank made by Smoke Me called the Subverter Mini. And uh, I was pretty impressed with this I mean, the first time I picked it up and tried it because I fired this thing at 150 watts with my Sigeli 150 and it performed flawlessly. I was using my Heracles by Sense at the time and at 150 watts, this thing was smooth from the beginning to the end of the long drag. It didn't feel like it was starting to dry out. Whereas the Heracles, got, we now have a brand new coil in here, it's pretty good and all, but once the coil starts to age a little bit, uh, at the end of the drag, it's a little bit dry for my taste, so I like it turned out to about 140 or 130. Um, this tank is kind of interesting because it takes some design cues from uh, the Kanger, um, because they found out that doing it this way, they can have a bigger coil head. Uh, and also, I have a higher liquid capacity. The airflow on this thing is probably one of the largest on the market, comparing it to the Arctic by Horizon Tech. It's double the size, so it's easily much more airflow than the Horizon. It also takes some design cues from uh, some other companies from you know the dripping world where you have the airflow control uh, so it's not as dense of, of a cloud uh, you know, the vapor is too thick but that's usually what they do for the dripping world right so here they use it as a cooler for their drip tip so the air instead of going straight in and up this goes straight in hits a heat sink goes down uh, to give it a little bit more length and uh, travel to cool it down more and comes back up. So it really does work on cooling it. Uh, I put it on my dripper, uh, took a couple of hits and the temperature was uh, pretty good. It didn't get too hot. Uh, this is actually a temperature controlled uh, tank. It uses a uh, nickel 200 um, and I can show you the coil head. I've got a zoom feature on here but uh, it has one of the biggest uh, liquid inlet pools, so it can actually keep up with uh, the high wattage. So with a 0.1, they come in 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.5. With a 0.1, uh, it's rated at 150 watts, uh, which is what I'm using it at. Um, the coil head, I'm not sure if you can see that, or pretty far out, but the coil head has very has a very large diameter for a lot of air holes to go through. I mean. Bottom, if you look at it compared to any other tank, it's pretty much the same. But I think the only difference here is the holes for the liquid inlet, uh, they're huge, so the, um, the con can keep up with the heat from the coils. And the coil, the hole for the air to pass through, is probably the largest I've seen. So a lot, a lot of the air can pass through and cool it down faster. Overall, they're a pretty nice tank. Uh, just a brief overview, it's on the spot, I didn't really plan this out, so sorry about all the thinking on the video, but uh, they're releasing it sometime in May, the second week, uh, check it out, again, uh, thanks for checking out with me, the vape on it, vape the subverter tank on here, on a prototype version of the, what's it called, the snow wolf. Um, and this is at 170 watts with a temperature control. I have the top air hole cooler all the way open, so that was not as thick as I would have liked it to be. Uh, let's uh, get this on here. It's a little cool that I've been messing with it uh, all day, but here we go.
So I got the top air hole closed on the drip tip, all the air holes open on the bottom. At 100, I'm gonna be safe. Bring it down to 165. I've been using it at 150 all day, um, no problems. Uh, I just right now decided to pump it at 170, so I'm gonna go 160 and see how that works. That was actually pretty good. Um, here's the sense. Uh, Heracles, just for comparison. That was a little dry at the end. But yeah, hope you liked the, the overview. Um, this prototypes, but uh, don't mind it too much. They're still working on it. And uh, check it out in a couple weeks.